Okay, this is how you set up the F18 out of the box to work on the Sabre Cloud. So you power it up, you hold the M down, the menu button, you go to comms over here, you then select the cloud server setting, uh, you then have to change it to enable it to use the domain name, and then you go down here where it says server address. At server address, you have to hold the right arrow to change it into characters, and also make it small letters. And then the domain that you need to type in is, is cloud. Um, you hold down the character until you get the character that you want. So uh, you just go, you go back to delete. So it's cloud. And then to get a dot, you have to change your, your character set over here. So that'll be a one. And then change it back again to small letters again. So it's cloud.saberbiometrics.com. So now I'm going to put in Saber Biometrics. Saber. Let's save my metrics. Then I'll just put another dot. Com. And then you push OK to save that. So now you can see it's saved. And then we need to change the port number and just find that. Yet. Okay, so just to go back to the settings quickly, um, you need to put in the port number as well, uh, just to explain to you. You can use the up down arrows to go into edit mode and if you make a mistake of a spelling mistake or something like that, you can go backwards and forwards with the up and down arrow and for that colon over there, um, you, uh, you basically, let's go back again, sorry, there you go, yeah, uh, switch to text, and for the colon, if I wanted to put a colon in there, you'd um, hold this down until you get to there, and it's number three, so there you can see the colon, so to delete that, I'll just go back like that, anyway, so it's cloud.saberbiometrics.com colon 88 which is the port number okay so once that's done you push ok um, the other thing I recommend is that you go to the Ethernet settings you just set it for DHCP which means that the uh, router on the network will provide the IP address to connect it to the internet and it'll come up with the IP address so you can see that you're online and connected so all that I've got connected here is the power cable and the network connection to the LAN and that's basically it and how you know that it's on is at the top over there you can see the LAN is connected and to the right of it you'll see that it's connected to the server so now you know that it's online and that's that's it it's set I have to stop it